This your main man, Davey Matt Fly. Two eyes back in the mob museum with a whole nother banger, broski. You know what I'm saying? The fuck? Major shout out and salute to all my OGs, youngest day ones, and new members alike, broski. Y'all know it's all love every motherfucking day. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and hit that like button for your boy right now. And for them trolls in the comment box, we got three rules, man. Y'all listen up close so you don't get your ass cussed out. Rule number one. You know what I'm saying? My camera, my channel. I make whatever kind of fucking content I feel like it. Rule number two. <laughs> Rule number two, man. It ain't no right or wrong way to make a fucking YouTube video, bro. It's YouTube. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Rule number three. If you don't like my videos, get the fuck on, bitch. Yeah, that's how we running that shit just like that, man. I don't want your puss ass nowhere near right here, but that's for the trolls and the trolls only. You know what I'm saying? Back to the mob shit. Yeah, if you don't know nothing about the mob, the mafia is my family, nothing more than that. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Join the La Familia, join my fam, man. We love to, hey, welcome y'all niggas with up and on. Just stay back with that negative shit, you know what I'm saying? But we for the dumb shit too, so it, just don't put negative shit in the comment box, bro, and we'll be all good. That's all this shit is about, <laughs> pretty much. You know what I'm saying? All that, all that jaw jacking the lip wrestling, all that shit. Yeah, that's what that shit about. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Major shout out to the homeboy. You know what I mean? Shoot free. The Snicker Dome. Subscribe to this motherfucking channel, man. Um, he dropped a video a couple days ago titled What's Your Grill? And I had to think about that shit. Like, bro, it really, 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 really fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? Because once I, 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 I'm not buying shoes just to buy them shits. I'm not saying that nobody else is. We already know it's more shoes that I like more than others. But as far, you know what I mean? When we talking about grills, like, yeah, bro, a lot of my shit are grills. Honestly, good, a lot of my shit are grills. You know what I mean? Even down to what? Even down to this motherfucker right here. <laughs> this 20, this, bro. I'm telling you, in high school, when the Stealth 20s dropped and this motherfucking strap was all black, this shit was the coldest shit that I've seen, that I had ever seen, you know what I mean? To me, to me. Y'all gotta think I was in school during the post-14 era. You know what I'm saying? High school, for me, was post-14s and retros. The New Jays was the, what, 17, 18s, and 19s. Well, no, 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 no. 18s, 19s, and 20s in high school, middle school, go back through my 15, 16, 17s, you know what I'm saying? So, for me, like, when I was getting it, when I was in school, and you know what I mean, what was lit to me, and what was popping back then, it was post-14. Not saying that it was popping universally, you know what I mean? Just where I'm from, it was all about the new J's. It didn't matter what was the number. It didn't matter if they were retros or not. It was like, shit, them shit just came out Saturday. Nigga, you got them? That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, the new new Jordan was a big, big deal to me. Even down to the story telling on this motherfucking strap. You know what I'm saying? But this just, this one of many. And, shit, I could put the same argument, like, well, not even, I would say the same argument, but... I could say a lot of the same things about a lot of the shoes that's behind me. Now, you know what I'm saying? Do I got more shoes than what you see behind me? A uh, fucking course. I got a whole wall of them. <laughs> this whole wall, I ain't looking at nothing but shoes right now. But like, you know what I'm saying? That side over there, this shit all over here, it's more or less like personal shit. You know what I mean? I hoop in them, they everyday type joints, it ain't nothing too crazy over there. Well, I do got something over there that, you know what I'm saying, could be considered a grill, but shit, all right. Damn, shoe freak, boy, you don't fuck me up with this video, bro. It's, <laughs> it's kind of hard, man, cause, all right, boom. Like this one, right? For me, for me, for the longest, it was a holy grail because I didn't think it was going to come back. But once I figured out that it was, like, 
I was gonna do everything in my power to have this one. You know what I mean? This Jordan 2, this Denver Nuggets colorway, the Mellow 2s, the bro, whatever the fuck you wanna call them. Like, yeah, I was gonna do it to get these. You know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, hell, the video that I would've picked the video that I picked. <laughs> the shoe that I would have picked for this video, like if I had to just pick one shoe, and I know you just want like one shoe, but it probably would have been the shoe that got stole from me, and that's the Galaxy Rookie. So, matter of fact, Shoe Freak, just do me a favor, man. Pull out your Galaxy Rookies right now. And just smell them boys for me one time, man. You know what I'm saying? God damn, I missed that shoe, bro. But, yeah. Let me, um. Let, let me not goddamn <laughs> turn this to a 4-5 shoe, what's my grail video. And if I had to really, really just rock out with one, like, you know what I'm saying? Even all the shoes that I consider as grails, if I had to just pick one, damn. It would be very, very hard, because instantly I want to pull out that, that custom shattered backboard right there. You know what I'm saying? It's unfair to the rest of my shoes because it's new booty. That motherfucker right there. <laughs> it's unfair to the rest of my girls because it's new booty, but like, yeah, I've been head over heels in love with the Shout Out Backboard 1 since, since what? I've seen pictures of the motherfuckers that released, people slept on it then. It's now like, you know what I'm saying, the standard for Adjoint 1 quality, even out through all the bullshit. I've been dying, dying, dying to have me a pair of these hoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out Backboard and my broski did these bitches some justice with their paint job, man. These, look, if I ain't tell you it was a custom, you ain't see that motherfucker Fred logo back there. You the, hey, I, I the trick shit out a couple of you niggas, I know it. Matter of fact, the color is like, he killed the color so good. It ain't too much of a difference from, you know what I'm saying? These two oranges, well, look at it on camera. This one look darker, but I'm telling you right here in my hand while I'm looking at it in person. Yeah, this one's still a little bit darker, but bro got close as hell with the color. And you know what I'm saying? Since that one new and I really, really can't use that one, I'm just gonna say this one, bro. Not even a cop out, like legit square business, man. I'm from Rockingham, North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Instantly. Anybody who know anything about that, if you know anything about Rockingham, North Carolina, I don't even gotta explain why this is it. You know what I'm saying? But, for the motherfuckers who don't know, the school that I attended from 7th to 9th grade, Rockingham Junior High, colors orange, black, white. You know what I'm saying? And this month, just the colors on the shoe alone take me back, man. You know what I mean? I could just sit here, look at the colors, and think about walking through seventh grade hallway. Walk through eighth grade hallway. Oh my, the breezeway, bro. Nigga, it's been so many fights on that breezeway. Nigga done got so many numbers, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's been so good goddamn times on the breezeway, man. But that's what this shit remind me of, man. It's like, I don't see nothing, nothing, nothing but pure high school, like junior, my, the pureness of my life, well shit, it wasn't shit pure back then, cause hey, I was just, I was really jumping out the porch to get my hands dirty, I would get my hands in anything that I possibly could, and that's another reason, like, man, anything you can name, bro, <laughs> yeah, that's when I first started saucing, my first pair of J's, my first pair of Jordans ever came in the seventh grade. Soon as I got to the seventh grade, I hit school with the white Columbia joint 15s. And I thought I was the shit, cause they didn't come out in my city. I had to go to Charlotte, North Carolina to get them. My mom dudes live in Charlotte now. Now in my mind, it's like a holy grail, cause I don't see it coming back out. But bro, do y'all know how fucking happy I would be if they re-released that white and Columbia joint 15, man? Yo! <laughs> That shit will make my life, bro. Like, for real, for real. But, again, y'all know, man, I'm a talking ass nigga. I can talk literally all day about kicks. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker specifically just bring back all kind of crazy ass memories. So, 
Shoe freak to answer your question, my guy. You know what I'm saying? What what is the what's the shoe that I just could not get rid of? One that I never even thought to get rid of, or one that ain't leaving? That's this motherfucker right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, the price was 305 when I got it from Soul Food Kicks. You know what I'm saying? I did not have 305 dollars out of pocket. What I did, shit, I just sold a gang of GRs like. Well, not even a gang of them. I just sold a handful of GRs to make enough to buy this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I didn't pay anything out of pocket for it. Just got rid of a whole bunch of shit that I didn't really want. So, you know what I mean? Fair trade, man. Even swap on this one. Y'all know how it go. But shit. Yeah, Bresky. I knew it was either going to be these, one of these two. You know what I'm saying? Them Steph 20s high up there. The Steph 15s are high up there on my list. The copper 17s are very, very high on my list. And mm, that Olympic 7, bro. The Olympic 7, the Olympic 7 could have been here too. You know what I'm saying? For the longest, I wasn't wearing my Olympic 7s or none of that shit. And I just got tired of looking at them. They're a size 9 and a half. And now I'm trying to sell them and get a size 10. So that's the only reason why I whipped them bitches out. Because they're in the process of, you know what I'm saying? trying to find my correct size so they ain't in the house right now I got them in a consignment shop but hell yeah the Olympic 7s they could have been in the video too but man I'm gonna get up out of y'all here bro I've been talking like shit and I still got some more shit to do today so mob 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 y'all say all the way up broski from my family to yours bro peace mob mob wet 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 mob